So this is something that I found recently that I um, actually wrote a while back, uh, but I have not forgotten the lesson. And uh, the lesson was basically if we're going to be a worker in the field, and when he says the Lord of the harvest says that the workers are few, but the harvest is plentiful. What exactly does he mean by that? Um, and what I got from that is basically he means that there is so many uh, out in the spiritual battlefield in the spiritual harvest to be reaped, but there are so few people who actually are willing and ready and able to be working in that field and so in that word he says ask the lord of the harvest to send out workers into the field and so that's something that we can pray every single day that he does send workers out into the field because if we're working in the field together we need each other especially as things become more and more dangerous and as this world becomes more and more sinful towards re reaching revelation in the time of the end we need those workers in the field we need those people who are focused on the father and the will of the father like jesus was so my question for myself was will i be a worker in the field what do I need to lay down before I start work? Am I waiting for something to happen for him to use me? A lot of us wait for something else before he can use us. And we want to be used by him. We find out that we are an instrument for God. But we don't know how he will use us. So these kinds of questions um, are often asked. And... Another one is, can he even use me and how? So I said, yes, I choose to remain a worker in the field every day. And for what do I need to lay down before work? I said, before my work day, I need to lay down my fears, sadness, frustration, anger, and pride at the feet of Jesus. And for the third one, am I waiting for something to happen? I'm waiting for wellness to happen. I see that he is already using me though. And so I said at this time, so be it. Um, and for I said, can he use me? And I said, he can use me to speak to others, to be compassionate and to love others. And uh, what am I desiring to be hired for? Is it a fair wage? The fair wage part is also in the Bible um, where Jesus gives an example of those who came at the end of the day, those who came to work in the middle of the day, and those who came to work in the beginning of the day. And Jesus says that he will give all of them the wage that they asked for. So... Is the, fair wa is the wage fair that I'm asking for? I said, I don't know if it's a fair wage. I want health and success, but I will not walk away from God. Sometimes we may want health and success, or you may want health and success too, and wonder why is he not giving that to you? Or why do you not have that yet? Uh, so this can be something that you can think on and ask yourself these questions when he saw the crowds he had compassion on them do you have compassion when you see the crowds do you have compassion looking at those who are like sheep to the slaughter in the hands of the enemy will you be a worker in the field what do you need to lay down before you start work and going to the harvest and are you waiting for something for, to happen for him to use you you don't need to wait he can use you in whatever state that you are in if you will only be humble and submit to him 
and learn how to submit yourself uh, to him. And part of that submission is love. Compassion is love. All of these things make up what love is. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you soon.